Welcome back to What's Up Cuz. How do your boys feel about their sister having a boyfriend? But I would be doing the same thing! Yes. You don't get along with me, there's a problem. <laughs> your family's opinion matters. Buddy had unexpected foot surgery. If you like the guy, go talk to him. That's probably the advice I would've gave too, I have to say. No, not at all. I raised her well, yeah. Erica. You made a good call. That's how I would approach it. She gets the days, I get the nights. Before she goes, I wanna answer this first. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What's Up, Cuz. I am your co-host, Erica Spira. And I'm Lisa Velastro. And we are back live on video now. Oh, yeah. So if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you for watching us here. And if you're listening and you want to watch us, go check out our YouTube page. Just find What's Up, Cuz Pod on YouTube. I'm so excited to be back. We're doing season two. <laughs> season finally. Season two, finally. Just took a couple months. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes you need a little break. It's been, <laughs> it's been very crazy for everybody since the world mm -hmm. has reopened. And we have... A great guest here with oh, us. Oh yeah, we have Lisa Velastro, buddy Hello. sister. Hello. The OG. The OG. We're, we're Lisa, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> She's the original Lisa Velastro. We're both yeah. Lisa Velastro. I so. kind of stole her name, you know. I know. The I OG. love sharing it with you, honey. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. This is so fun. This this was my dream when we started. Mm -hmm. I was like, it'll make us hang out more than we already do. So there you go. Um, but as always, we start with a little fun update for all the listeners. So Lisa, what's the update this week? Update this week. Well, we just got back from a great Vegas trip, and mm. I happened to take Johnny, my nephew, with us. Yep. And I have to say, I think the boys had a pretty good time. <laughs> oh, he had the time of his life. He's like, he's like, we up sales. He's like, Mom, the sales went up because we were there. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, I gotta go back. Oh, really? Yeah, right. with the, was it pizza cake or the baker? Pizza cake. Pizza cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. They worked hard. I have to say, they yeah. really worked hard. I did see some jumping numbers, I have to say. Right? You know? And they played hard, too. They did. They played hard. You know, I was the one up till, you know, wee hours of the morning waiting for them to come in. But they were good boys. Not bad. They were they were good. Well, you know? all, all, everyone's 18, at least now, right? Because Johnny's going John's to college. John's 18, yes. Yeah. Oh, where's he going to school? Yeah. He's going to Lynn University in Boca oh, Raton. Fun. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice weather. Good move. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good move. Yes, his cousins can't wait to go visit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait is. to go visit him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm hoping one of my kids will go south too. Yep. I mean, not a bad excuse. Yeah. Not a bad excuse. Though you like having Sophia close. I do like having her close, yeah. but you know, a little warm weather doesn't hurt. It's just the plane right away. Yeah. It's just the plane yeah. right away. Not bad. Not, not bad. a bad excuse. I know. I miss Buddy being in Miami. I'm like, I should have. Should have taken advantage of that more. You and me both. You I know? thought about that. I'm yeah. Like, I should have. Should have went down there more. <laughs> not a bad deal. But uh, any other highlights from Vegas? Um, you know, we worked really hard and the boys had a good time and just had some family time and uh, some different businesses opening up. Yeah. And uh, it was good. All good things. Is Buddy Jr. still wanting to move there? You know, I think he does, but I think he might actually miss us. Yeah? Yeah, I think he's I having think second he thoughts. Listen, I always say, oh, John is going to mm -hmm. be great when he goes away, but I, I feel like he's going to really miss us too like yeah they're we're very close yeah. and even if they're they complain that we you know we hang out sometimes mm -hmm. like oh, you're always like, <laughs> they're still gonna miss it yeah. and he's gonna miss all the things that are done for him too <laughs> that's what you never realize right when i was in college living with like a couple girls and i felt like i was the only one cleaning and i've called my mom i'd be like i don't know how you kept a whole house that clean I know. It's, it's like, a lot of work. Yeah. It's a routine. My son never even walked into the laundry room, okay? <laughs> never even walked into the laundry room. I go, honey, we have to practice laundry before you leave. He's yeah. Like, I'll, I'm going to get someone to do it. Oh, okay. You, okay, <laughs> John. to do it? Yeah. I, like, don't worry. I remember when Sophia went away <laughs> last year, um, the first couple of months, she would call me every Sunday while she was separating her laundry, uh -huh. just to make sure she separated it the right way. Really? And she was doing it right, yeah. But she she caught her on pretty quick. Yeah, listen, yeah, she they, did. they learn very fast. Mm -hmm. I just I just did cold water always. Always. That's, all. I just, That's the I just was like, you know do. what? <laughs> my mom was explaining it to me, and then she leaves, and my dad looks at me and goes, just cold water all the time. Don't worry about it. I was like, did okay. You, did you at least you know put the colors together? No. And the, 
I wouldn't <gasps> separate. No, I didn't. Erica. But I never really wore white, so I wasn't worried about it. Okay. And then playing sports, the cool thing was we got this like ring that was for our practice jerseys and they would do it every day. Uh-huh. But you could like put underwear and stuff on it. And uh... so you'd cram that ring with like as much <laughs> stuff as you could. And I'd be like, yeah, whatever the laundry they can do for me. And then I can. You found the it. loophole. Literally. It literally you was a loophole in laundry. It. Yeah. But then I remember one time they were like, girls, you can't, you can't put 10 thongs. <laughs> Uh, they're like our poor like <laughs> like little boy washers. They're yeah. Like, they're like, look, it's a student campus job, but you know, they're like, just be that's a little. right. That is true because you know. my daughter's roommate was the washer for for a team. I remember her saying it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It is a little. It can be a little gross for sure. I could just imagine. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be a washer. <laughs> I would not want to be a washer. No, 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 Sweaty no. drawers. <laughs> yeah. Especially for a boys team. Oh. <laughs> It's all, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh but my I, God. I still miss my little laundry loop. It was really nice. But uh, we never actually talked about how you got married. I know. I, I listen, third time's a charm. And <laughs> I, and I was not doing like anything big. And I honestly, it really, it's, it, we weren't even planning a wedding. We were going on a a family vacation, yeah. all of us. Okay. It was going to be all the, the cousins, uh, you know, all of us, and um, the sisters. And my brother was like, well, it's going to be us there, so why don't you and Anthony just get married while we're in the Bahamas? And mm-hmm. I was like, you know what, buddy? That's a great idea, because if you, if I was going to have a wedding here, we're, just our immediate family, we're 40 people. Yeah. yeah. We're 40 people. So imagine to add friends and then aunts, our aunts and uncles and cousins. Like, I, yeah, it was hard. the perfect thing. I mean, this is what we did. We, it was 11 o'clock wedding. I walked on the beach barefoot. We said our vows and it was a beautiful yeah. ceremony. It was fast. <laughs> and yeah, we, not usual. we had a brunch. And then we went and put our bathing suits on and went in the pool. And partied for the rest <laughs> of the day. And we partied the rest of the day. And that yep. was it. It was just, it was so simple. And yeah. it was perfect. So Till this know. day, we still talk about on how that was the perfect wedding. And I hope that's the way my kids want to do it. It was perfect. It was just so much fun. You actually wanted to be there. You wanted to enjoy yourself. Right. And it was just, it was a great time. Oh, yeah. My, uh, I, our good friend, actually, our producer, Ryan, here. Uh, we were on the car ride here, and they're doing a nice wedding in Maine. Hundred people, and I was like, "How?" Right, I hear <laughs> you. Yeah, I was like, "That's impossible." Even to plan something in, yeah. like, you know, I, I had um, a wedding coordinator mm-hmm. um, from the resort, and I mean, she was wonderful. Uh, it, she took care of so many details, but you know, if it's not in front of you and you have to guess things, but it, it turned out I didn't want to. I wanted it to just be simple. And I didn't want to make a fuss because it yeah. wasn't been there, done that. <laughs> the important thing was us getting married and mm-hmm. like my immediate family was there and it was it was just beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was, it was so yeah. nice. But let me ask you a question. Let, let me step a little bit, you know, <laughs> forward here. Who decides what bed of the what side of the bed you guys sleep on? Oh. Okay, so this is my how me and Anthony decided mm-hmm. that he sleeps where the door is open because if an intruder comes, <laughs> he, he's the sacrifice. <laughs> he has to protect me. <laughs> that is so funny. But that's, you know what? That's a good theory. That's exactly yeah, how we Do you decided. guys ever switch sides? Never. So no. once you have your side, that's your side forever. That's our side. Actually, no. This Actually, if we go on vacation mm-hmm. and the door is on <laughs> oh. my side, he will sleep. <laughs> well, it's funny you said that because just recently your brother and I were away and I wanted to plug in my phone charger on my side of the bed yeah. and there wasn't any. So uh. I said, can I sleep on that side? He's like, I can't sleep on that side. I'm used to sleeping on that side. He goes, I always get the left side of the bed and you get the right. I go, okay. <laughs> but it's like, you know, I was just wondering, do all married couples Pick their size and that's it? I think so. It's just a habit. It is a habit. I mean, it is a little weird. Like, there haven't been, thank God, there haven't been oppo- so many opportunities where I'm on the other side uh-huh. if the door's there. So, <laughs> but if there is an opportunity, he's sleeping by the door. That is so funny. I've <laughs> because, never thought of that. Yeah. If we if a scary movie comes on, I can't be by the door at night. 
I can't be by the yeah. door. So yeah, yeah. Can you even? I can't even watch scary movies. I turned into the biggest wuss. <laughs> Halloween was my absolute favorite holiday. We used to go to the haunted hay rides, the haunted houses. I I loved scary, scary really? everything until Never. No, I got me old. neither. And now I'm the biggest wuss. I can't wait. You, remember when your husband forced us to go see Halloween? I do. I that's had the my last, eyes closed that's mostly the, last the whole one. time. Yeah. And well, then, I put my AirPods in in a movie. I'm yeah. telling you. To be you. like, I just can't hear the music. Well, I, oh, I know. Was Michael Myers' music that night. I, I, I closed my eyes in my bedroom and I'm like, doo, 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 doo. I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm like, yep. No, you know what it is? Okay, this is the thing. It goes back years and years ago. Okay. So... <laughs> You know, I'm a little cuckoo at nighttime. If I get up, which I usually do to pee, it's a habit. I have to go on the kid's side of the room, the, the house, go yeah. check everyone, make sure everyone's sound asleep and safe. Well, as I'm walking the hallways, I'm saying to myself in the dark, if you're here, I don't want to see you. <laughs> I don't want to see you. So I can't watch scary movies because I, I would be walking through the hallways in the dark, picturing these scary oh things popping God. out at me. Yeah. true. I do have a... Quick funny story. When <laughs> Bella was a baby, okay, she was sick. Now, the infant Tylenol's in the ba- downstairs in the kitchen. So I get to the top of the stairs and it's dark. And then all I hear is scary music in my head. And I'm like, Lisa, go get your baby Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. That is so Right. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, we would fight like if someone left the light on downstairs. Oh, my dad's a chicken, too. And it'd be like, who left the light on? We'd be like, not me, not me. And it'd be like, someone has to go. And we would fight because yep. you know, no one wants to just go back down. It's crazy. Oh, man, that's so funny. But I yeah. picked I picked my side of the dorm room because it was farther from the door. It's and it. I didn't realize I told my roommate that. Yeah. Because she came in and I kept everything even. I was like, you know, I want it to be fair space. But I just picked the bed on the other side. And, and she, she finally moved in. She got there a couple hours after me. And then all the parents leave. And she was like, I'm just curious. Like, why'd you pick that side? Right. And I was like, oh, it's farther from the door. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, if someone comes in, I have more reaction time. Yeah. And she's like, so what did you funny. say? And I was like, it's true. <laughs> they have a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm gone, dude. I, 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 need I a little am more time. so glad I'm not the only one that thinks about stuff like this. <laughs> oh, 100%. I never want the door. You know, I was embarrassed to say something because, you know, am I the weirdo? But no, I guess no, not. No, but it's also like, have you ever tried to sleep with your back to the door? Oh, for I no. can't do that either. Me either. No, I'll, like, I'll flip. I've like slept in hotel rooms like on the foot of the bed, opposite way. Really? I can't fall asleep with my back to the door. I don't know what it is. I know. I don't go that far. <laughs> I'm, pre- I'm pretty bad. I'm, I'm pretty bad. I, I, I can't do I go it. that far. Oh, man. But, uh. So then, now that we know our deepest, darkest yeah, secrets. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> Do uh, you guys want to get to the questions? Got yeah, questions let's hear it? it. Okay, all right. Email Our first email of uh, the episode. Let's do this one right here. It's called Family's Opinion. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a <laughs> lot of opinions us. in this family. Oh, for sure. All right. Hi, Lisa and Erica. Big fan of the podcast. I have a big Italian family like yours, and I'm looking for some advice. I've been dating my girlfriend for almost a year now, and I really think she is the one. I'm 27, and she's 26. I can really see myself marrying her, but I don't think my family is 100% on board. They haven't said anything negative about her to me, but I just have a feeling they won't be excited if I tell them I am thinking of proposing in the near future. Should I talk to my family before asking my girlfriend's father for permission? And should I ask my family for their opinion or just tell them I'm thinking of proposing and see what they say? Any advice is appreciated. Thanks. All right, that's a really loaded question. That but is loaded. there's so many different ways to take that. Yeah. There is. I'll give you my way of taking it, All and right. then I'm curious to hear your way, Lisa. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you're 27. Mm-hmm. Um, you love this person. I don't think your family's opinion matters personally. Um, if if you love someone, you go for it. Um, do I think that? You should tell them that you're going to get engaged. I do. I think that you shouldn't make it a shocker, but you shouldn't ask permission yeah. to, to, to marry someone you love. I mean, let, let's be honest. That if you love her and and she's the right person for you, then your family should just be just as happy for you. Right. That's the way I feel. And big Italian family or not, put your big boy pants on <laughs> and say, this is the person I love and this is who I want to marry. And I... Hope you guys are on board with me and go on with your happy life. 
that's what I would do. I mean, I'm kind of like, do you think a big Italian family would be quiet about it if they didn't like the person? Like one year of dating? Listen, everyone's going to have an opinion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there will always be an opinion. No one knows. Italian families don't know how to keep their damn mouth shut. But well, mind saying. their business. Yeah, or mind their business. It's exactly. Not my business, but. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, give me your opinion. But you know what? Put a smile on your face because this is the person who I'm going to be with. Yeah. Right. But right. that's why I'm like, I feel like they would have said something. Listen, if, unless they don't like her, if, she, if this person did something like, that they can't, like, okay, so maybe she, did she cheat on him at some point and then they work things out and maybe that's what, and still, even, to, even if it's that far, if he chooses to marry her, it, he is an adult. This is who he yeah. chooses and they have to respect it. And you know what? Big Italian families, we let bit. We learn to love. We forgive him. We forgive him. We scream and yell, but then we all come around. We give our opinion and, you know. I just feel like, listen, everyone's different. That's Mm. what makes the world go around. No one's ever going to be that perfect person that you might like or, you know, whatever. But, for instance, I'd rather, all right, you. For example, you come and tell me I'm marrying this person and I just happen not to, you know, be fond of them. I might be giving you my opinion, but I'm going to also turn around and say, well, I love you as a person and I don't want to lose you. So if this is the person Absolutely. you want to be with, I'm happy for you and we're going to learn to love each other. Exactly. And just you move on. Conscious Life's too short. To, yeah. To learn yeah. to love each other. It's true. Life is too short. You know, and the I don't want to lose my family member. So. Exactly. I agree. You just go with it. We're easy going. Very easy. It doesn't get easier if than us. If you don't us. get along with me, there's a problem. If yeah. you don't get along with her, there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I would say. I, I've heard you're, you're of the of Buddy's sisters, the most chill one. You have the chill house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what everybody Everyone says. Everyone comes to my mm-hmm. house. Yeah. They say, Lee, Lee, I'm Lee's I'm just chill. Cool land, yeah. Chill. Yeah. Must- you want to bake five dozen cookies? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline would have a heart attack. I must be the name. <laughs> Must it be is. the name. Must be. We should look up the name Lisa in yep. the dictionary. Or what does it like, mean? I was like, are you both the type you're like, I'd rather you do it at my house? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to somewhere else? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, then that's another that's another vibe. Yeah. Uh, I have control at my house. I like to see everything. That's what I'm saying. It feels I, a little safer. I like everybody there. at my house too. Like, yeah. I like yeah. I loved having my kids' friends in my house I would make five pounds of chicken cutlets forever I'm, I was the chicken cutlet like I, mm-hmm. oh, I'm making chicken cutlets everyone all the yeah. friends would come over yeah. your mother's making chicken cutlets and coming over so yeah <laughs> pasta and chicken cutlets I love it <laughs> we must flavor our chicken cutlets the same way oh, you probably mm-hmm. I doubt it's uh, bad you know my secret I do <laughs> doubt it's bad you guys want to do one more yeah one more question all right here's one how to deal with a family breakup all right Hello, Erica and Lisa. My name is Andrea. I'm 23 years old and from Ecuador. I really enjoy listening to your podcast. I am being thrown a lot of things during these days. My family and I spend a lot of time together. We grew up in a very big family with a lot of cousins just like you. But since a few months ago, my mom decided to not hang out anymore with the rest of the family, and she didn't tell us why. I really miss spending time with my cousins, aunts, and grandparents. I would love to hang out again because in a few months, I actually won't be able to. My father just got a job in the U.S. and we must move there with him. I am unsure when we'll be back to Ecuador. What would you do? Any advice is much appreciated. Thank you and sending love to your family. I would go right to the source and say, what's going on? (laughs) I know. That's weird to not know. Yeah. I'm the type of person that if something's bothering me or or I feel like there's animosity or something, I go to the source. Listen, if we're fighting, we can't go to sleep. No. No, Like, we can't go to sleep. So I'll call her to, up or vice versa yeah. or with somebody else, you know, yeah, I mean, my other sisters. sisters. Yeah. And be like, listen, I heard this. I, I don't like to hear. He, he said, she said, is this what's going on? Let's clear the air, whether you agree with me or not. And exactly. let's see what's going on. Yeah. You know, I know. I, what would you do? Same thing. Like I, well, I mean, I would want to, I wouldn't want to not see my, my yeah. cousins and my, my grandparents. Like, I don't think that it's fair for for the child to, yeah. to not be able to see mm-hmm. his family, especially they leave in the country. Like, yeah. I mean, how do you do that? You know, I would really just go to the source like you said and, you know, say, like, we're leaving. Like, I need to see my family. And, and nothing – I just feel like 
you're mad, nothing is it cannot be fixed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, family's family. You may be mad at each other, but what could be so bad that you can't speak to each other? Like, I could never not talk to my sibling. Yeah. yeah. Never. No, I could never either. I mean, when things happen, does it put a strain on the relationship? It might. You know, you might be distant for a little bit. Right. You know, everyone might need some time. Absolutely. But everyone eventually does come around, and that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't I don't believe in just yeah. not talking about even it. like all of our kids, they're they're like siblings, not cousins. Like yeah. they're close. Yeah. Like I can't imagine. But wait a minute, let's take it a step further. I remember you saying she's twenty three years old. Yeah, so I was like, Can't she drive? Yeah, yeah, that was my next question. Like, like, she's like, not a can... child. Why why can't she just go herself and see? Right. I would still call it out on her mom and be like, yeah. something going on that I should know about. You know, right. can we talk about it? But at the same time, you're old enough to also go see everybody, too. Right. Yeah, I was I was going to say, I'd be like, hey, I'm still going to go. They're all hanging yeah. out. I'm going to go over there. That's like, exactly. I don't have a problem. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't be involved if it's between the old like, the, yeah. you know, that's one thing. But. They, she should stay out of it and yeah. want to see her, you know, go see them. Whatever drama is going on with the with the family shouldn't involve the kids. Yes. You yeah. know, I also feel that way, you know, when there's a, a divorce going on, as much as you, you hate your partner at that moment and, you know, time heals, whatever the hell occurred, the kids should never be put in the middle, no, no. matter what. I know, it's tough. But it's, honestly, I would guess it has something to do with them leaving the country. Maybe. Like, it, it seems Could like weird be. timing to be like, she suddenly doesn't talk to anyone anymore. And she's like, right. hey, we got to move in three months. You know? So there might be a tiff of they're upset that they're leaving. But still, it's like. But again, you think she wants to leave her family in Ecuador? Like, sometimes, you know, when a job calls. Right. You got. Look at the people in the military. Yeah. You know, I feel for everyone that serves our country because, you know, when they get moved, these families get uplifted and moved and they have no choice. Mm. You know? So it could always be worse. Yeah. yeah, it could always be worse. I know I was going to be like, go take the car and just go hang out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, not that I promote lying, but a little bit. Right. I was like, hey, you know, yeah. I'm going to go hang with my friend. Yeah, with a cousin. Who can, yeah. Uh, you know, what's the difference? I guess we're so close that it, it I, would I never. Can't yeah, exactly. So that's what I would do. Yeah, but it's like something we're, happened. We're all very blunt with each other. So we, there is no animosity. Yeah, no, I don't, I, you know, or just, you know, listen in when she's on the phone. <laughs> I <laughs> usually mean, like pick up some hints. I <laughs> usually turn around and say, you could tell me to go F myself, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for coming on, Lisa. Yeah, thanks, thanks for you. having me. I'm going to come, come back. You come back. Yes. Come back. Come back. All right. Definitely. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for listening. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button or leave us a review or a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And you can email us your questions at whatsupcuzpod at gmail.com. So thank you all for listening. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Till next thank time. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.